What's up, YouTube? This is Dark Moon Timmy here, and welcome to another vlog episode, or just a bit of a small update. So, tonight's episode revolves around just a small little update, and, you know, what's been going on in the, the world of Vanguard today. So, uh, god damn it, I didn't even realize I had, like, this is what I get for drinking too much soda, fuck. Anyways, so just, um, for up to date, and I just want to say, first of all, I really do apologize for not making the videos for about two weeks. I think the last one I did was on the 8th of this month. Jesus Christ. And it's already like 20 days ago. So, like, fuck me. I need to start doing some videos again. But, unfortunately, it's going to be cut short because something actually came up recently. Um, the good news, I have some good news. That maybe in the next, maybe the next couple of weeks or so, I'm going to be starting... Driver's Ed, which of course that will lead me to get my learning permit, then the drive, the actual driving course, then get my license. So basically, I'll get a driver's license, a car, but unfortunately, it comes with an insurance. I know that sounds pretty fucked up in the head right now, but it makes kind of sense. Seeing as how I'm 25 years old now, I have to be more of an adult. But it's kind of pissing me off now because I don't. If you ever get that kind of feeling that you don't want to really grow up and you still want to be like a, be like a kid or be hanging out with your friends more, then yeah, you get know you know where I'm coming from with all this. <laughs> Anyways, so I'll be starting driver's ed courses very soon, like night school. According to my mom, she says she's helping me with this, so this is quite actually spectacularly excited. And yes, I'm a little nervous about it, but at the same time, I think it comes with a price. I just can't think of it quite down to that. Anyways, I'm just going to shut my, shut my goddamn mouth about this and move on to what's really important. Um, tonight's actually episode revolves around shady-ass people. I mean, I think I may have mentioned this once before in my last episodes. A couple of few, four or five, fifteen episodes I'm, of this vlog series. So, yeah. But this kind of brings up to the whole like, level of, ex like, an extension of this drama I've been hearing. So, call it what you want. But this is my ideas and thoughts and expression. You know the whole agenda-wise and yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to show. Anyways. So last night, I, I finally hung out. After a week of, you know, being alone, I managed to hang out with my friends yet again. Which is... Oh, my God. Hold on one second. This damn computer sucks fucking ass! You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to shut it down. I hate computers. They're annoying as fuck. Anyways, I'm sorry for getting out that little sub subject here. Now, on to more important things. After tonight, I finally... Last night, I went to Game Grids, my card shop. Finally, I was very happy for it because I got a chance to see my friends. And the good news is, people, after this episode, there will be a deck profile featuring my new... Featuring the new trial decks I, I got from yesterday. They just but it came out yesterday, and I bought all four trial deck boxes. There's actually a few Genesis cards that are actually... Just commons and just whatever. And I made my deck, you know, with the new Regalia Break Ride and the new Regalia cards, Jupiter and Cider. And honestly, I kind of like the new look, the new rarity on Existence Angel. So I'm very quite happy with that one. But anyways, so there, there will be a deck profile featuring um, the witches. The, I think the last time you, I did a witch one, it was... Um, with Inuwagahime and Fortuna, but this is going to take it to more of an extent. So, that would be a good news, good thing to look forward to. After this ugh, fucking camera, I'm going to kick your goddamn ass. There. That's a little better. Sorry, guys, this computer, this um, tripod's like stick. Anyways, that's the good news. Besides the good news, I'm going to get a driver's ed course. Now, on to the actual rant itself. I'm really sorry for taking so much long and stalling some a little bit of your guys' quality time. Anyways, so last night, as I was saying, last night when I went to my card shop, I finally just hang out with my friends, some people who I really did not want to see. And, um, you guys can feel free about this to speak all you want about this. This is a subject that needs to be brought up anyways in the, in the, what we need to discuss about. Um, don't you just sometimes hate it when people just try to tell you what to, what to play in the deck? For example, I'll take this as an example. There's this kid, I'm not going to say names because I don't even know his fucking name anyway, so makes sense. He mentioned, he told my friend, 
when I'm not going to say names, but I know I think I know this person's been watching this video, and he'll see what I'm talking about. This person has the nerve and the audacity to tell my friend that he should not play Dragong Overlord in the Kagero deck. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but is Dragong Overlord the actual card that started all the Kagero's? Can you explain that to me? Kong, Dragong Overlord itself is still a goddamn good card. It's nothing bad about it, but due to the fact that the Great Four Novel has actually been released and people are writing that card, this kid thinks that taking out Dragonk Overlord and putting the Novels and Dauntless Drive, I mean, you all can agree with me. This is, or agree or disagree that this um, may be a bad thing, but Dragonk Overlord, I think, should stay in a deck, especially when the new um, Cross Break Ride and the Break Ride of Dragonk Overlord. So you see, Dragonk Overlord itself, and they they even made a fucking reprint of the of a new art art splash artwork of Dragon Overlord as a promo card in the manga manga series. And it's just it's in the manga only, but so that's all I can I can write down. But still, why would you take out Dragon Overlord knowing that he's actually one of the very first Kongaro units that started Vanguard in the Kongaro community or clan? Makes no sense. Unless, of course, you're trying to make the only novels, then maybe you can put at least two copies of Dragon Overlord because he's still a good card. He actually helps you get most of your units off when he's a vanguard. He attacks the rear guard, then the vanguard, then the rear guard. So there's really no point, and he still gets twin drive. Unless the new thing says he has to lose a twin drive to give it up. Um, one drive check to give it up, so... But still, I don't see... It doesn't make any sense. I mean, this is the same douchebag little wannabe fake-ass kid who also told me, and I'm saying this, I'm pointing the finger up right now, and I would have done this, but, you know, that would be to all of you. So I'm pointing this finger up. That kid has the nerve and the audacity to try and tell me that I made some mistakes in my Silver Thorns when I was playing against him. Like, how can you make a mistake, you know... We all have our own different play set of play styles for every clan that we do. Um, like, for me, I'm very highly aggressive and, you know, 12 crits kind of, you know, does the job sometimes. But heavy, heavy damage for me, personally, that's like a, that's a slight chance in hell. But anyways, that's not the point. The point is this kid is a fucking idiot. He tries to tell me that, you know, I made tw like 15 or several mistakes as I played against him. How can you make mistakes with Pale Moons? Seriously, everyone's got their own fucking deal about Pale Moons. I like playing my Pale Moons the way that I play with any other clan I prefer. Highly aggressive, and in other words, when I'm pissed off, kicking your fucking ass. This kid who runs the Chaos Breaker Dragon Link Joker, not dissing on Chaos Breaker, but the way that he said it makes it feel like, makes me think that you gotta run this certain card in order to make this deck stronger. You have to run, you know, a several a very favorite clan, but you're gonna be losing anyways. I don't get that. It doesn't make no fucking sense to me whatsoever. ever. I personally say run the card that you wanna run in your own damn deck. And I'm sorry for harping on this kid, but it's just this kid really did piss me off so much. Like, it pissed off my friend. Pissed me off because that's my friend that he's dissing on about his card. Who gives people the fucking right to tell you what the, you need to put in he or she needs to be put in your deck? It's your goddamn clan for hell's sakes. Do what you want to fucking do with it. Like, for me, I run a cross ride version of, you know, Pale Moons. Of Silverthorns with Lukie. That's my avatar right there. That's my homegirl. Everyone's got their own idea on a certain play style. You should not have the right nor the audacity to give some or to tell somebody what you think is best. You, it's okay now. Listen to this now. Hear me out. It's really okay to give out some advice, but don't fucking tell them what the fuck to do. Now I'm saying the word fuck all the time, but this is me and this is my goddamn channel here. So fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, cut shit. Yeah, you know the whole show. I'm, I'm, I'm too lazy for this shit. I'm too tired. Anyways, I don't I don't get it. I, it doesn't make any sense. Why would you tell somebody that you 
but you think this car is bad. Dragonk Overlord isn't bad. People are changing the clans a bit or suit of play styles. Here's my thing. If you guys love Dragonk Overlord, if you want to play Novels or Overlords, see your options open. Like Cruel Dragon or Blast Bulk Dragon or Dragon Gaia, you know, Gaius or Modern Dragon Tag. Just do what you feel like is best for your clan. Like Pale Moons, Genesis, Royal Paladins. I run them the, the, the way I want to run anything. The way I think is best for the clan and that suits my play style. What the deck is mainly about is that showing your play style, like what you want to do, what you can deliver. You don't need to tell someone else that you're just, you know, what you think is this card's better and you think that you're the smartest shithead on the planet. No, I'm sorry. I don't agree with all this. It may, it, my friend was a little, my friend was a little upset by it. But I was just more irritated because this kid had the nerve. And this guy just started, you know, coming to our shop at least this week, this month, or, you know, at the end of May. I don't know. I don't remember. But this kid thinks he's a... No he, this guy... What I know about him is that he's annoying as fuck. He thinks he's a fucking know-it-all. And I just think he's just extra. That's all I'm basically saying to all these card fighters that you think they're just hot shit. It's just they're extra. They don't have no sense of meaning, and it's not in a very good way either. But, you know, this kid, will, this kid will, is going to have what's coming to him. And trust me, it'll be by my hands. And by the cards that he's been dissing on by my clan. Seeing, I don't really quite understand why people are doing this. Like, they think they're know-it-alls. And I'll give you one example, too. <laughs> there's a rumor going around that there's someone there who's a cheater. Now, I can't say for sure who's a real cheat. I've never cheated in my life. Hell, I just do what I think... I do what I play what I do. That's it. I don't cheat. I don't lie. I don't fool people to think that, you know, I'm better than them. And all because, you know, something like this or that or such a certain play style. I don't do that. But yet, we have people in our shop that are, to me... I'm not going to say names, but I think some of my, if my friends know this, they will share their thoughts about how I feel about this. There are some people that are, you know, spec, you know, suspected that of accused of cheating. We don't know who. I can't even tell who's who because, you know, I see the same people every day. I befriended these people for years. And so I don't know who is a real cheat and a liar. And of course, here's the thing. You don't, another, th another little tip I've learned you don't trade with anybody who looks at the prices and then runs off and then comes back saying this. You don't do that. So whoever gave me that advice, thank you so much. God bless you. I love you. But <laughs> off the subject here, my only thought for this tonight is whoever is cheating in your community, wherever you guys live in the States, and you have a Vanguard player, a Yugi Yu player who's been cheating, lying, and trolling your ass thinking that they're hot shit and thinking they're cocky little bastards and let's have a little favorite or a favor or a little promise if anybody who makes a promise to hell if that person does you wrong you have every opportunity and every chance to whoop their ass in that card game that's all I gotta say guys I mean that's just the only advice I kind of got so it's been on my mind since last night so i do say some things that have been on my mind for quite a while so correct me if i'm like a little vicious chihuahua right now but still there's a lot of people these days that think are so hot shit because they have the, the best deck out there personally lean jokers i love lean jokers i even run it myself i and i have no issue and i'm gonna say this probably i do not have any issues with Chaos Breaker Dragon or any other goddamn Dragon of Lean Joker. I don't have any ill will towards him. But the person who's running that deck, I don't want to see them being cocky. I want them to treat everybody equally in their respective decks. I do not reg I do not want to see that. I if there's someone there who thinks they're as cocky, they're gonna win this shit and you know think they're so high and mighty all because they have the best deck out there. No. Nah. -uh. I'm not gonna play you. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna fucking ignore you. Like 
You're dead. You're extra. You ain't shit. That's how the game should be. And if, unless that person wants to be your friend and he's trying to give you the respect as a human, then you go to him and explain and tell him that you do not like agree with this or you do not like this. Then maybe he'll change his mind. And if not, then there's a problem. If he ignores you, like you're nothing to him, but just an extra waste of Vanguard space, then prove him wrong by whooping his miserable, sorry fucking ass into the next millennium. Which is Lukey's birthday. Hopefully, that I'll be the biggest person ever. So yeah. Um, anyways, guys, I hope this little rant deal does not give you guys off the hook or give you guys any problems with this. Just because this is my, ra my rant and my thoughts and I'm very starting to be very blunt with my words. Too blunt, but honest. And very coming from those of heart. And I don't know why I said zip. I guess... Ugh, I've been acting fucking French all... I've been sounding like fucking French since work. God damn it. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to take some Xanax. And I'm going to knock myself out just to sleep this whole shit off. But anyways, I want to wish you guys have a great weekend. Remember, don't don't be like one of those shitty, cocky players. Be yourself. Just be yourself. Have fun with the game. And if you have best friends that support you, let them support you. If they're your teammates, fucking take advantage of it. They'll love you for it. And you'll love them for it. And before I forget, there's also one more announcement I want to make. Set 15 Infinite Rebirth will be coming out on September 19, 2014. So I'm personally looking forward to my Pale Moons and a little bit of Shadow Paladins. Honestly, a little bit of Shadow Paladins and a little bit of Lady Jokers. There's a list I'm going to have to make because I have to look through all the cards and I have to write down the list. So, yeah. That list right there. Anyways, so, have, you guys have a great weekend, like I said. And take care, and I'll see you guys next time. And remember, stay and stay tuned for my deck profile for my Goss of Fortuna deck. Or the Witches. So, yeah. This is Dark Moon Tamer signing out. Have a great day. And remember, just be your...